Hello YouTube, Freddy Cardona here. Welcome back to another episode of Fred Drives. In this episode, you're going to be joining me vicariously as I drive on Valley Road, first in Clifton and then in Montclair. I am now on Marshall Street with Valley Road up ahead. So let's get right into the drive. Valley Road, Clifton, and Montclair. This is a three-way corner. You got Barclay, Valley, actually four-way, Canal Street. Wait, Barclay, Valley, Canal. Yeah, three-way. That's a three-way intersection. Directly to my right, don't know if you could, that, I know you can't see it, but it's, there's a location that I featured a few years ago called the Hitching Post here in Patterson, New Jersey. And that was done, I want to say about maybe three years ago, maybe. And to the left, if I make this left here on uh, Barclay Street, St. Joseph's Hospital will be there in that location. So we're gonna make a right-hand turn here on Valley Road. Again, I wanna thank everyone for joining me. Also, around here, there was an Optimum satellite area, if it could be called that, for Cablevision, when it used to be Cablevision. And we're going over Route 19. careful. To the right there is the entrance to Lambert Castle. I did a, vi a video there for my Pride in Patterson series. We're passing Frederick Ave there on the left. I like to call out the cross streets when I do these videos. Gorley Ave to the left. This was a much requested video. Dumont Ave there on the left hand side. J and J Studio on the left, crossing Belgrade Avenue. It's going to be a little bit trafficy because it is rush hour, morning rush hour. Schools in session, so there's a lot of school buses. So if you see me putting my hand in front of the camera, it's only to respect the privacy of children. If I make a right-hand turn up here on the intersection, we'll be headed to Garrett Mountain Reservation. And yes, I did do a video there. Let's see what addresses are around here. We've got 85 Valley Road, 88 Valley Road. We've got Dunkin' Donuts there on the left. So if anyone lived on Valley Road or in a nearby neighborhood, Please comment down below, share your memories. Now the road is closed here, so we're gonna have to go around. So that particular section up there, we're not gonna be able to show you. But you'll get some extra bonus footage. I'm gonna follow this school bus because I think this school bus knows. We were on Fenner Ave, we made a right on Summit Ave. So who knows, I might be driving down your street here. We've got Taylor Street there. We're gonna, I, I guess we're gonna make a right on Taylor Street. Is it open? Yep, all right. So there is a school here up ahead. If I see any children, I'll try to put, I'll try to block it so that we try not to show children in our videos. That It says up, up ahead that that's public school number five. There's gonna be a little bit of a jam over here because we've got trucks on the left. We got public service coming up. Let me back up a little bit. There we go. All right, it looks like I'm not gonna be able to um, get across here. Let's all squeeze through, why not? All right, that wasn't so bad. 
Let's see what buses go through here. Vivaldo's Grocery on the left-hand side. We've got the 192 to New York, 702 to Elmwood Park, and 199 to New York. Let me block the camera. We got a kid coming through. There we go. All right, Academy of Martial Arts there on the left-hand side. All right, we're back on the road. Furs and purrs, pet grooming and supplies. Oh, a little bumpy. Gold Street there on the left. Nelson Street, crossing Nelson Street. Crossing Warren Street. Iglesia Pentecostal Bendiciendo Las Almas. Silic Street. That was Pentecostal Church Blessing the Souls. That's what that translates to. Crossing Lockwood Drive and Dewey Avenue. Also Elmwood Drive on the left. Some of the memories I have on Valley Road is going to a Jackals game. Going past Skyview Terrace and Stanley Street. Bobbing Shoppers Village there on the left hand side. You have a pharmacy, a stationery, a liquor store. And there is a store for rent there on the left-hand side. Fordham Road is there on the left. Cafe Road. Crossing Tristan. We're in a, in a primarily residential neighborhood here. The VFW 7165 is there on the left. Yeah, I understand that the, I hear that the Jackals are going to be playing in Patterson, New Jersey now. As we cross J Street. Brower Avenue. See if I can give you some organic sounds of Valley Road. Zion Church of God is here on the left. As we cross Van Helpen Avenue. Pause here for a moment. You get a view of New York if you live in some of these houses here. Let's see how much we can zoom in. That's New York. The skyline, anyway. Proceeding on Valley Road. Four Seasons Boulevard is there on the right. Pope John Paul II Center and Chelsea Senior Living on the right. St. Philip's. The Apost St. Philip the Apostle, Roman Catholic Church. We're approaching the Route 3, Route 46 junction. And we're here at a famous circle. New Jersey is great for circles. We're 
were going under the highway. Remember guys, if you're driving and there's work, construction being done on the roads, you have to slow down. Alexis Steakhouse and Tavern on the left hand side and Garrett Village on the right. Hamilton House Museum, oh that sounds interesting. And if you make this right over here, that's where we would watch the Jackals play. Montclair State University, Charles Street there on the left. McLean Road on the left. How are we doing with the buses? Are they the same ones? I'm pretty sure, let's check. All right, so here you can only board 191 to Willowbrook Mall. For those of you that has been, have been following my Fred Drives video, you know that I like to call out the bus routes. It's something you won't see on any other channel. So you must subscribe to the Freddy Cardona channel. You never know what you're gonna see. And we have a restaurant here on the left, and I don't remember the name of it. If anybody, if anybody knows the name of that restaurant, please comment down below as we cross Valley Animal Hospital on the left-hand side there, and Architectural Design Associates. I like to call out the businesses if I catch them because when we're watching these videos years from now, it's always inter interesting to know the changes, you know, what company is there now, what was there in 2023, and so forth and so on. Woodland Avenue, I did a drive on Route 4 in 2015 and we still had a path mark and a k mark on route 4 and that was pretty interesting to see you know in 2023 as we're on the corner of normal avenue with montclair state university entrance on the right hand side there a few people have requested valley road in Clifton and Montclair. So we were taking care of both of them in this video. I did Valley Road in Wayne. So I think all of the Valley Roads have been covered so far on the channel. as we proceed south, which is also County Road 621. I do have a humongous pickup truck behind me, tailgating me, so I am going to let them go. That reminded me of Family Christmas. Remember when that pickup truck was tailgating the Griswolds? I'm gonna stop here for a second while I let some of these cars go by. Yeah, what was the thing Clark Griswold said in the Christmas, spec the Christmas vacation? Eat my rubber instead of eat my dust. Brainard Street is on the right. So we have a cemetery here on the left, and I see a notation here where it says the grave of Shirley Booth. I'm going to have to Google who, who she was. We're crossing Mount Hebron Road and Nassau Road on the left. Cross 
crossing Potter Court and Macopin Avenue. Crossing Alexander Avenue. People walking their dogs as we cross Emerson Place. Landscapers there doing their thing. Crossing Belden Place. Village Square Realtors. Realtors. Montclair Pharmacy there on the corner of Laurel Place. Glenwood Place. Nice relaxing ride here on Valley Road as we cross Marion and Mountain Place. Crossing Lansing Place and then Fernwood Avenue as well. Crossing Jerome Place. Correct me if I'm wrong, for those of you who are from Montclair, we're approaching what I would think is the downtown area. And on the left is my wife and I's favorite place, Veggie Heaven. Love their food. If you have not been to Veggie Heaven, I would recommend it. Saunders Hardware, Dunkin Donuts. I'm just going to try to call out some of the businesses. Angel Beck's, Jackie's Grillette, Takara Asian Bistro, Howell, St. James Episcopal Church on the left, Kumon Reading, The Muse, T H E M E W S, M as in Mary, The Muse, Avis Budget, Talbot's. Starbucks Coffee, U.S. Post Office Supercuts, Bank of America, CVS. Anyone interested in moving to Montclair? You see the businesses that are here in this area. You got an animal hospital. Crossing Preston Place. You got the Acme on the right, Kidville, and the Max Challenge. Alvin Place there on the right. Commonwealth Gardens on the right. Going under the train tracks here, crossing Bruce Road and Brookfield Road. Crossing Appleton Place. Appleton, that reminds me of Eagleton. If anybody watched Parks and Rec, you'll know what I'm talking about with Eagleton, the dreaded sister city of Pawnee. Crossing Watching Avenue. Treat yourself. That's also a reference to Parks and Rec. Let's see who gets it. Comment below if you did. Vera Place on the left-hand side. Holland Terrace. And Edgemont Memorial Park on the right-hand side. That's a beautiful park. Berkeley Place.
crossing Brunswick Road. Oh, got old glory. Can I get a shot of that as I pass? It's not waving because it's not windy. But that was Montclair Kimberly Academy. Club Street on the right hand side. Bel Air Drive on the left and Rydal Place. A Rydal? R Y D A L? I would say Rydal. But if anyone knows, please correct me in the comments below. Crossing Chestnut Street. Straighten the camera a little bit for you. <coughs> James Street on the left, Van Vleck Street on the right. Got a bakery, Montclair Bakery there on the right, a quick check, Lobster Roll, Mystic Lobster Roll Company on the left. Tierney's Beer, Wines and Liquor on the right. Stretch Recovery Lounge. Montclair Vacuum Center, Thought in Motion, Montclair Smoke Shop. Crossing Walnut Street. Crossing Montague Place. We're going across Bloomfield Avenue. We're going to be doing a complete drive on Bloomfield Avenue this summer. It was recommended, <coughs> suggested by Drew Rowley. And we're coming up on a circle with Church Street. So this here is, I would imagine, the end of Valley Road in Montclair. All right, guys, this was a 20-minute video. I really thank anyone who stayed with me for the whole video. I appreciate it. And if you enjoyed the content, please subscribe to the channel. The best way to support the channel is to like, click like on the videos, and to subscribe. The reason I ask that you click like on the video is because it pushes the video onto um, the, the first one or two search pages or it pushes it up to your feed so by liking the video and subscribing the video you're you're supporting the channel if you're a Patterson resident or a ex Patterson resident I have a pride in Patterson t-shirt mugs on my in my store you don't have to purchase anything. It's there only if you want to buy something. Just keep in mind that it takes forever to receive the merchandise. I ordered a shirt for myself in January and I received it in the middle of March. So it does take a long time, but you know, hang in there. You will receive your merchandise. All right, guys, let's see. Where are we, by the way? Let's see. We are, hold on one second, guys. We are on Orange Road in the corner of Myrtle Avenue and Orange Road. All right, guys. Thank you so much for viewing my video, my Fred Drives video. I hope you enjoyed this drive. If you did, please subscribe so that you could be notified of any other drives that I take. Also, keep in mind that you never know when I'm going to feature your neighborhood or your city 
in one of my videos. All right, guys, thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next video.